Welcome to Work Experience. Um, it is my hope that this uh, video will take the place of a first class meeting, so it is my introduction to you. Uh, welcome to Work Experience. Uh, my name is Nadine Wade Gravitt and I am the Work Experience Instructor. Work Experience is a three-way agreement between you, the student, uh, me as a representative of Napa Valley College, and your employer. In order to enroll and to be active in work experience, you must have a job. Um, so hopefully all of you are employed either in a volunteer position or in a paid position. Either way will work. The class has two parts to it, so you must make sure that you are uh, enrolled in both sections. Uh, the first section is Work Experience 190, and that is the seminar class. And uh, that is a one hour a week about online section that uh, we will be working together with and I'll walk you through that in a little bit. The other section is uh, honoring the fact that you will be learning at the workplace as well and that is either work experience 191 for general work experience or 193 for vocational work experience. The amount of uh, general work experience um, is designed for those students who just want to who, who are not necessarily working in a job that is applicable to their degree. A vocational course is uh, designed for students that are uh, working towards their degree. The seminar class is a one unit class and the uh, 191 and 193 can are variable units, meaning that those are directly tied into the amount of hours that you will be working. Um, each student must have, and online you will see a, a copy of this, um, and please swing by my office if you need to get a copy of this. And this is called the Work Experience Handbook. And um, in this, uh, you will have certain written assignments that have to be completed. All students have to complete these assignments. And unfortunately, we just don't have the technology yet to have you submit them electronically. You may fax them in to me at 253-3220. Um, otherwise, you must uh, physically hand them in to my office, which is located in the Physical Education Building downstairs. Uh, follow the signs to the faculty offices. So in here you will find all of the requirements. This is also all listed for you online. Um, but all students must complete this uh, and it has all kinds of uh, different assignments that you have to have and I give you deadlines of when you have to submit these to me. If you are indecisive about how many units you should sign up for with the 191 and 193, in the back of the uh, handbook I tell you and again, it is associated with the amount of hours that you are working. So if you are working about five hours a week, you can qualify for one unit. Uh, 10 hours a week, two units. 15 hours a week, three units. And 20 hours a week is only open for vocational students. And those are if you are getting paid. If you are volunteering, um, it is about four hours a week or one unit, eight hours a week for two units, 12 hours a week for three units, and 16 hours a week for four units. Again, it is a summary of hours. That's about the average that you are working, so five hours a week. But really what I'm looking is uh, for at the end of the semester is that you have a total of 75 hours. And once you have those 75 hours, then you will have satisfied your requirements. Uh, each student is required to fill out an application and fill out an objective sheet. Um, and again, these are things that you will be learning on the job. So. Um, things that you might not have been exposed to uh, at previously, but that you want to work on while you are in this next 18 weeks together. And so I would encourage you to sit down with your uh, supervisor or your boss and to develop those objectives. In addition uh, to writing out your objectives, um, each student um, will have certain requirements, and this is required for students also repeating the class um, and uh, first-time students. You must do a one-page paper um, and uh, listed in that is called the student report and listed are five or six different topics that you may choose from. Uh, so each student must do that. Um, each student is required to do a resume and a cover letter and if you are a returning student you just need to update your resume and resubmit it to me. Um, I encourage students to uh, and require students to meet with the Career Center because we have an excellent resource here on campus um, in the Career Center and they will assist you in developing a top-notch resume. Um, and I'm 
if you were to try and use this resource on the outside in the outside market, you would pay a lot of money for this. And we have excellent staff here that will assist you. So at some point during the semester, you have to uh, have a an appointment with the Career Center, and they will assist you in developing your resume and cover letter. In addition, and I also give you several examples and several samples um, uh, for you to look at it. Um, in addition, all students must have an employer evaluation, and, um, and then you must also turn in a time card. The employer evaluation and the time card must be signed by your supervisors. Um, I cannot accept them if they, ha if they are not. Uh, second and third semester students also have additional um, uh, assignments, um, and you can read about those. Mostly second semester students must, and third semester students must develop um, a portfolio, and I outline exactly what those are, uh, portfolio requirements are. So for 191 and 193, your assignments are to complete all of the workbook assignments uh, that you have and turn those into me physically. Uh, for 190, the seminar class, it, uh, it is required for first semester students that you complete 17 different readings, and those readings are posted online. So you must access the college website and click on to online education, and when you click on to online education, you'll see an area of how to log on to the Blackboard. And once you log in, and I have sent you an email that indicates how to log in. Um, once you log in, um, your uh, page should look something like this. Um, and I give you, um, again, a summary of what I just explained as far as the hours uh, for paid and unpaid work. I have included all of the documents that you will need um, that are a copy of what you saw in the handbook. And I also have indicated my syllabus um, with my office hours and my telephone numbers, my fax numbers, et cetera. Um, following that, I give you all of the deadlines. Um, and these will change according to each semester. But um, these deadlines are for when the student agreement, application objectives, et cetera. All of the handbook assignments are due. So please pay attention to those dates. Um, and then following that are all of the reading dates. And um, again, these are due weekly. And uh, they are usually due Saturday night at midnight. Um, and pay, pay attention to the time frame. And where you access those readings is up here on the learning modules. So you will click on to the um, uh, reading one. And, and I provide you with the reading right there. And so, for example, the first week is 20 Tips for Managing Stress. I'd like you to read those um, uh, 20 tips. And then the assignment is for you to uh, pick a couple of these um, and then figure out which ones you would like to apply to your life and to your work life. And so then you will answer to me in a short paragraph um, what, um, which assignments that you choose. Um, and the assignment, the homework here is um, for you to describe two examples that you'd be that you use and two examples that you'd be willing to try. So each of the readings in the learning module have an attached reading, uh, and they are all uh, uh, work related and work appropriate. And um, and you will have assignments that you will then once you complete them and you read the assignment, then you have an area here that you can submit your readings and uh, or your responses to me and there's a submit button and then I will um, grade you. As you can see most of these do not have a actually all of these do not have a right or wrong answer. These all have um, assignments that you individually will respond to how you feel that you will respond to. So again there are no right or wrong answers and really all that I am grading is that you have read the response, have read the, the paper and that you have thought about it and applied it to your individual work uh, situation or your individual life. So you will have 17 readings uh, that you will be needing to complete uh, during the semester. And if you complete each reading, you get 20 points. Um, so uh, that is the only requirements and assignments that you have for uh, Work Experience 190 is the uh, 
is the 17 readings. So the, cla the two classes, as you can see, are, um, are blended together, and the assignments are blended together, and hopefully will coincide with uh, your work environment. Uh, if you need to contact me at any point, there is a, uh, uh, a way to email me and to uh, send me a message if you are having difficulties uh, or uh, circumstances have changed at your job and you need to change your job or you have been promoted and your objectives are different, um, please contact me and, um, and I will work with you. Uh, you may also contact me. You cannot submit any assignments, but you can contact me uh, through my college email, and that is ngravett, G-R-A-V-E-T-T, -T, at napavalley.edu, or you can contact me through my telephone, which is 253-3221. So all of your assignments, again, are listed on the... Um, uh, course content section, you'll find your um, documents that you need. Um, again, I invite you to swing by my office and pick up a hard copy, uh, and that also provides me an opportunity to meet you in person and talk with you uh, and discuss what your job is, um, and I look forward to that. I also, again, in summary, have presented you with my syllabus and the assignment dates um, and uh, all of the reading assignments and hopefully you will find these reading assignments applicable to your um, your work life and uh, helpful. Again, you will find all of the reading assignments located in the learning module section. So hopefully this has been a good introduction for you. Again, if you have any questions specifically to your job or to your circumstances, please don't hesitate to contact me and I look forward to meeting you. And thank you.